All right, hello, hello, hello. This is your girl, El Shaddai, with the news as it happens. I just wanted to show you what I have found. All eyes on Jerusalem, all eyes on Israel. We have a biblical prophecy coming to pass. Israel is being threatened. This is turning into that religious war. And when the wars and rumors of wars are met with peace talks and also it turns into a religious war, you know we need to open up our eyes because we could uh, be having some serious, serious issues here and Lucifer could be looming around the corner. Anyways, I'm going to go into this and I know that I did speak with you in a video yesterday on this, but I wanted to bring this article up again because it ties into the rest. In front of the UN, a boss threatens holy war against Israel. After thanking UN bots for blindly siding with Palestinians, PA Chairman Abu Mazen took the podium and warned that Israel is denying worshippers access to the holy places, saying, I caution against these policies and reckless measures, which will lead to dangerous consequences. The result will be a religious war. Let's go ahead and go on to this. A boss, again, threatens to terminate agreements with Israel. This is all done at the UN. Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas on Thursday again warned that the Palestinian leadership will renounce all signed agreements with Israel if any government extends Israel's sovereignty to the Jordan Valley and the Northern Dead Sea. He said that he will call new general elections for Palestinians, invited the UN and international organizations to monitor the vote. IDF winds up advanced command level assessment for pet for potential Lebanon war. Officers from Lieutenant Colonial and higher from the IDF units took part in a week-long advanced assessment sessions held in preparation for potential war with Lebanon. Lebanon. Led by the Gash Division of Golian Brigade, the sessions took place at the Eliakim something training base in northern Israel. On Thursday, Chief of Staff Lieutenant General Aviv Koch Kochavi, Kochavivi something, paid a snap visit to the Navy's Hafa base to test the various war fleets' preparedness for war in the northern sector. He was satisfied with the high level of operation preparedness that he, he observed. Can't talk today again. 54 thoughts on the IDEF mole's preemptive strike to ward off planned Iranian tax on the UAE and Israel. This is getting really serious, okay? <clears throat> this is where the rubbers meet in the road. The rabbis will tell you that if an enemy is on your border, that it will eventually strike. The time has come to drop the bunker busters on Iran's nuclear installations. This is the only way to stop the Alatoya from attempting to create a nuclear weapon that can be attached to an ICBM. They will not stop VIA negotiations, and this is the best way to allow the Iranian people to have their country back. Japan was bombed during World War II, and now they are a friendly country and trading partner to the server civilized world okay but again you need to remember while they're having these so-called peace talks and I guess I didn't look to see if you guys could see um, what I was reading here sometimes these don't exactly go into the window so well so I'll go ahead and <clears throat> re-put these in here so you can see what I was reading. All right. And at the same time, you have to remember, which I'm going to bring up one more time, that and make sure that you can see it in the screen when it does come up. At the same time, you have Iran saying they want peace and stability. Okay, so there's wars and rumors of wars along with 
peace and stability talks along with this turning into okay and let's go to that again a holy war okay this is going to turn into which it probably already has but it's getting more prominent and I can't seem to move this right now um, wanting to threaten Israel they're not just threatening to annihilate Israel they're also threatening to annihilate the United States this is getting very heated remember that Jerusalem is our barometer we need to keep our eyes open and watch what's going on I I think time's getting short that's all I'm saying I don't think that Lucifer's too far away anyways this is your girl El Shaddai with the news as it happens I'm out